And now the details. More deadly violence in Philadelphia over the weekend took the life of an attorney from the Philippines who was here visiting family. He was shot in an Uber on his way to the airport. Action News' Walter Perez is live in University City. Walter, you spoke with the victim's mother today. She was sitting right next to him when those shots were fired. That's right, Christy. As you'd imagine, she is in a lot of pain, physically, mentally, and emotionally. We spoke with her on the phone where she could only wonder why anyone would open fire on a car full of people. Leah Lalo says all she remembers is being in an Uber near 38th and Spruce with her son, John Lalo, early Saturday morning when she heard gunfire. I, I just saw the window on my right side shattered. And when I look at my son, John, he was bleeding. John was shot in the head and died at the hospital a short time later. The 35-year-old victim is described as a prominent attorney in the Philippine capital of Manila, but his mom remembers him as a smart, kind-hearted young man who loved helping people. She also says she never dreamed her trip to Philadelphia would end with her son coming home in a casket. I I'm going to bring him home, his whole body. And uh, what I want is justice. Justice for my son. Meanwhile, we also spoke with El Mercado, the Consul General of the Philippines in New York, who says his government wants answers. Uh, we hope that we would be able to meet with the police commissioner or, or the mayor so we could discuss uh, the, this specific case because our government really places a lot of importance in this one. All as John Laidlow's family can only hope that his death will not be in vain. I want justice, not just for my son, but for all those innocent people who died because of those shooting here. <laughs> you see? We don't deserve this kind of treatment. Now, Leia was injured by the shattered glass, but she is expected to fully recover, at least physically. In the meantime, a vigil is planned for tonight here outside Penn Presbyterian, where John Lalo died this past weekend. Still no word tonight if the Uber driver was injured in the shooting. Also tonight, no word on a possible motive or suspects in this case. Reporting live from Powelton, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Christy? Yeah, Walter, thank you.